Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's a yucky, rainy day outside and uh, Dan has finally got his boat in the water, so that's good news for him and good news for us because it will be a little bit more quiet <laughs> around here. Um, although I'm going to make a lot of noise myself too. So um, Today I'm going to try and construct my own um, vacuum testing box for weld testing. So you need to make sure that all the welds below the waterline are watertight, obviously. And you can do that by putting the boat in the water, but, you know, by that time it's kind of too late. So the other way to do it is to make a little chamber that um, you can apply a vacuum to. And you put that up against the weld and have a little bit of soapy water on the front face of the weld. And if air gets sucked through the weld, the soap will bubble up. So uh, it's a pretty simple thing to construct. I'm going to give that a shot and uh, I'm going to finish a few welds uh, while some glue is drying on that. And then we will see how well I did with my welds. Um, now, getting watertight welds is pretty difficult. I mean, even if you do weld on the outside and the inside of the metal it's difficult especially on older rusty metal that you know it causes a lot of pinholes and inclusions in your weld so I'm expecting that there are places that I'll have to re-weld um, that's normal uh, it's not a big deal so that's why we're doing the testing so uh, let's just go get it started all right, I've got everything set up here to make our vacuum box. Um, I've got a section of hose. Now we're going to need to cut one of these fittings off of one end to stick it behind this piece of plexiglass. And that will allow me to screw this fitting onto it and sandwich the plexiglass around this valve assembly. Now, on the valve assembly, we've got a hose barb, a T-fitting, uh, an enlarger, a reducer, whatever you want to call it, and a ball valve. So, the vacuum pressure will come in to this hose barb from my vacuum pump. It normally will be blocked by this valve, so the valve is closed, which means it applies the vacuum pressure through this plate and the plate the plate gets sealed to the metal surface by this little strip of silicone weather stripping so this will the silicone weather stripping will go all the way around the edge of the plate here and the vacuum will be applied to the center which will apply a vacuum to the metal surface. So all I need to do is cut off one of these fittings to uh, use behind the plate to attach the valve here and cut my hose to the right length and drill the hole for the fitting. So let's, uh, let's see what I can do with that. Now the plexiglass is fairly flexible, so I'm a, I'm a little bit concerned that when I apply the vacuum it might suck down right in the middle. Um, normally you would put this valve somewhere off to the side so that you can see through the entire area, but uh, in this case I'm going to put it right in the middle so that uh, the metal fitting on the back side can help as kind of a support to hold the the plexiglass from flexing when the vacuum is applied. I might regret that later, but uh, probably not. acrylic. Yeah, I didn't know 
noticed that I bought acrylic. I should have got polycarbonate. So acrylic cracks very easily when you try and cut and drill it. So that's not going to work. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to the store and get the right stuff and then we'll do this. Alright, so I've got some polycarbonate this time instead of acrylic and I was going to put the fitting right in the center and I drilled the wrong size hole in it. <laughs> so instead I'm just going to make a smaller testing box which will be more useful. It will fit into more of the places that I need to test. Um, yeah, some of these places are pretty tight so a smaller box will be better and I'll offset the fitting a little bit off to the side and drill the right size hole this time. So, take two. <laughs> So this guy is just going to fit on here like so. Yeah. That should do fine. And then I can use my valve to dump off the pressure when I'm done testing, seal it up and apply the vacuum here to get it tested. Yeah. So I'm going to apply some Teflon tape to these threads to get it sealed and also on these ones. And I'll trim this off and apply the uh, weather stripping. Yeah. That's one way to do it. way that you 
can do this so that these will seal to each other, but I'm actually just going to use some more of the RTV silicone and uh, seal, seal the edges together that way.
All right, so yesterday I got the uh, vacuum fixture all finished, and uh, here I've got a uh, weld where there used to be the drain pipe that comes down from the cockpit. Uh, this is an easy one to try to test first, so I figured we'll give this a shot. Um, I've sprayed a little bit of soap on there, you can see the soap suds. So I'm going to turn on the vacuum pump, it's quite loud, so apologize for that, but you should be able to see what leaks. Well, I hope you guys could see that clearly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, it looks like we've got quite a few leaks around this one, and you know, I mean, that's how it goes. So I'll just grind this down, and they're ugly welds anyway, so <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah, I'll just grind it down and lay another pass on top of it, and we'll retest. Kind of hard to tell there. <laughs> I think we have just a tiny, tiny little hole here. So, yeah, I think I'll take a pass on the outside and weld that from the outside. But uh, everything else here looks great. So, super happy with that. Well, it's an extremely rainy day here and it kind of killed my motivation to do anything, but uh, we got the back vacuum box made. Uh, I did get both of the pins, the holes where the pins were on the port side of the centerboard box. I got those welded back in. I didn't get them vacuum tested yet, but uh, you did see the vacuum test on the old cockpit drain. So you get the idea of how it works. Uh, it's a great tool and uh, you know it, it's nice to have the weld 100% watertight um, and that gives me great peace of mind and on top of that if there are any little things that the vacuum box somehow doesn't catch then there's fairing compound and you know eight layers of epoxy and then the anti-fouling layer on top of that. So um, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be watertight. So uh, this was uh, a good day, despite it being rainy and uh, my motivation lacking. So uh, I think I'm gonna take the rest of this day and actually edit this video. And uh, yeah, it, it's supposed to stop raining later in the afternoon. So I'll probably come back then and start sanding on the hull again, uh, my favorite job. <laughs> so anyway, uh, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.